Hello and welcome back to yet another video. My name's Mohsen Bukhari and I'm here with another plague. The plague is called Black Death, Pubonic Plague, Pubonic Plague or the Black Death. Okay, I might be not pronouncing the pubin, pubonic, plain, uh, pubonic plague properly, but forgive me, it is a 14th century disease after all, isn't it? No, it's not. It's current. It's already here. It's in China. Again. <laughs> it's in China. It's present. They've raised it to uh, raise the alert level to level 3. And they are ready for the plague. They say they can handle it. But oh, hey, you never know. Well, for everybody who doesn't know, today I'm going to tell you about the Black Plague. Well, nobody else is talking about it. I might as well talk about it. Today we are going to discuss about the Black Plague. What is the Black Plague? How is it any different from coronavirus? Can it be controlled? Should we be worried? And what should we do now? In the description below, I'll add all the time, all the times of the, you know, when I change my subject. So if you want to skip, go right ahead. Try not to, you know watch till the end it will give you some information you don't want to miss on this one so question number one what is the black death the black plague was a devastating epidemic of the pubonic plague that struck Europe and Asia in the mid 1300s most probably spread by ships now called death ships well for the obvious reason killing more than 20 million people in Europe over the five years that it struck. One third of the Europe's population was gone thanks to the bubonic plague or the black plague. The Italian poet Giovanni Bosacchio, name here, wrote at the starting of the melody, thus melody with an M-A-L-A-D-Y, certain swellings either in the groins or under the armpit, bigness of the apple, more or less the size of the egg, blood and pus pours out of the strange swellings which were followed by other unpleasant symptoms like fever, headaches, pneumonia, uh, diarrhea, you know, well, not a very pleasant thing is it? But now the question is, what is the difference between Black Death and Coronavirus? For one, Black Death is a bacteria, not a virus. Yersinia pestis, a zoonotic bacteria usually found in fleas and coats and all, are usually found in small mammals and fleas. Corona, however, is a virus belonging to the SARS CoV 2, COV 2, cause respiratory illness in human beings known as COVID 19. So they are from two different families. Many human viruses are caused by either bacteria or a virus. Most bacteria can be treated with antibiotics, even though some new strains are antibiotic resistant. Viruses pose a challenge to the body as it hides in the body's cell. It is possible to be vaccinated. It is possible to be vaccinated against some major disease-making viruses, such as measles and polio, as well as bacteria, such as tetanus and whooping cough the next question is can it be controlled can the government take care of it well the short answer is yes should you be worried well of course you should be worried even though antibacterial uh, antibiotic wasn't there the last time it came but well, we have antibiotics but a disease is still a disease it'll take your time won't it well you ask the question what should we do now well the preventive measures are to inform people when a zoonotic 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 plague is present in their area and not to touch anything infected by a such thing for example dead uh, dead animals and carcasses and all and liquids that might come out of those carcasses you know we don't want to be touching that nasty th stuff do we well vaccination you say well we can vaccinate against the bonic plague but who recommends not to well, you gotta ask them why not, but they recommend 
uh, only people who vaccinate are high risk people like for example health workers and people who come in constant contact with that all right that was all for today see you later mosin out <laughs>